my first ballet book, Cinderella, a baby lip book. Retold by Jennifer Adams, art by Corey Egbert. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother, who made her work like a servant, and her stepsisters, who were mean and spoiled. One day when Cinderella was cleaning, a beggar woman came to the house. Cinderella was kind to her. That evening, the stepmother and stepsisters went to a royal ball, leaving Cinderella alone. She was lonely, but she soon cheered herself up by dancing with a broom, imagining that she was at the ball dancing with the prince. The beggar woman returned. She was really Cinderella's fairy godmother in disguise and came to grant her wish to go to the ball. The fairy godmother was surrounded by the four fairies of the seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer. They created a lovely horse-drawn carriage for Cinderella to ride in and clothed her in a beautiful dress with perfect glass slippers. Then, the fairy godmother warned Cinderella that the spell would only last until midnight. At the ball, all the gentlemen and ladies were astonished by Cinderella's beauty and good grace. The prince asked her to dance, and the two quickly fell in love. Cinderella enjoyed herself so much she forgot the time. Soon, the clock began to strike midnight. Worried that the prince would see her transformed back into a poor serving girl, Cinderella ran from the palace. But she lost one of her glass slippers in her hurry to get away. The next morning, the prince summoned all the shoemakers in the kingdom to see who made the glass slipper, but no one recognized it. The prince traveled around the world in search of the beautiful young woman who wore the slipper. Finally, he returned home to visit all the houses in the kingdom. At Cinderella's house, the two stepsisters, stepsisters tried to put on the slipper, but it did not fit. But when Cinderella tried on the slipper, it fit perfectly. Then she took out the matching glass slipper from her pocket. The fairy godmother transported Cinderella and the prince to a beautiful garden where they declared their love and were married. My first ballet book, Cinderella.